Welcome back, everyone. Can't get away this summer? Well, my next guest is bringing the yummy treats from her latest trip to us right here in the studio. Please welcome to the show, world traveler. I get so envious when I'm looking at her Instagram, but our dear friend, Carolyn O'Neill. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, my love. Well, you know, I love bringing back cooking tips to the show. Yes. And uh, you know how some people go on vacation to get away from the kitchen? Yeah. Well, I go on vacation to get closer to the kitchen. I know. And, and we was, benefit uh, from that. And I was at the Aspen uh, Food and Wine Classic. So which happens every year. It's at 8,000 feet. There's 40,000 bottles of wine. There's 5,000 people. I Look mean, you know, you. it's incredible. But I like to learn things. There's so many chefs, like world famous. This chef is from Peru, people from all over. The, here is Jacques Pepin, his daughter Claudine. And these are the recipes that I'm going to share today. Because Jacques Pepin is, I mean, we had the best new chefs there and everything. But Jacques, of course, is the guru. He's the man, you know, with his so many cookbooks, so many yeah, TV this shows. One right and here. I was and this is at his it. latest one. This is his granddaughter on the cover, Shori. Aww. And as you you can see it says a grandfather's lessons in the kitchen with Shori, and that's Claudine's daughter. So here is what kind of blew my mind. I thought I knew about cooking. This is why we need the masters. Okay. He talked about eggs in his session. And grab a push pin oh. and grab an egg. Okay. We love eggs Here's at my what house. I learned. I don't know if you knew about this, but you take the fat end of the egg, you take a simple push pin. Got it. And it's hard, these eggs are kind of hard. And you put a little teeny hole in there. <laughs> You go know ahead, what? keep this going. Is there we go. Yeah, I was yeah. like, this is you know, the, par for the course. For you there we go. Teeny hole. Got and then, it. Then in your boiling water, and of course we're just here on this uh, on the set. Boiling water, you put the eggs in, and the, what that little hole does, it allows the air to come out, and you'll see little bubbles. Prevents the egg from cracking. Also makes it easier to peel. Yes. And we are going to oh, peel an egg. And let me just show yes. you. Yes. And of course you do this under running water, but I don't have any here. But look at how easy this is peeling. This again. The simplest things Beautiful. make cooking so much more fun. And we're making one of my favorite treats. My mother-in-law, oh, she made the best deviled eggs. And you are actually putting a little twist on yes, it. Yes, we are. So these are deviled eggs. And in the filling, we have, and if you can see over here, guys, we have cream cheese. I think this is a game changer. This is a recipe in the book. We have chives and, of course, the egg yolks. And then, of course, salt and pepper, a little Dijon mustard, and some just simple mayonnaise. You go zhuzh, 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 and then, if you might want to try, yes. you get a filling, and I made a pretty little, um, kind of an icing thing, you know, where you get a shape. Um, all right, yeah, look you at are that. piping look like at that, Jacques everyone. Pepin. Just call me Jacques yeah. So Polara. this makes a there great hors d'oeuvre for summer entertaining. And as you can see, so simple. Now we're going to kick it up a little bit, of course. Try that. We see with the cream cheese, with the mustard, and a little bit of chive in there that's to begin That's to die with. for. Absolutely. Just so yummy. And that's why I wanted to show it to you today. And I'm not a huge mayonnaise lover. Uh-huh. Well, there's, there's just someone little in there. Not. It's, this is a great alternative. That is incredible. And you know, as a registered dietitian, mm. I do like to remind people that eggs, including the yolk, are very, very good for you. Right. Now, we're going to make it even more beautiful and more nutritious because we are adding caviar. Mm. Now, these little eggs happen to be salmon roe, and this is what Jacques used in his demonstration to the clapping crowds at the Food and Wine Classic. And you can see how the orange color, and Beautiful. this is not that expensive. I was just going to ask you, because caviar, of course, can be so pricey. So we're, we're just I got this at the regular grocery, grocery store, store. And super affordable. And caviar, of course, has uh, wonderful omega-3s. And then we're going to make it even more Jacques beautiful by putting some. And look, at you could show up at a, at a summer party. Yes. And you are the hero. All right. And now, Oh, my let's gosh. Go. You want to really win. You know, I love it. Treat. Look how beautiful. I said th these look store bought. I was telling her before the show. Uh, we have a sweet treat. And oh, can I tell you dark? how complicated this Touching. chocolate recipe is? Here he is. You take chocolate chips, okay? These are semi sweet. You put them in a microwavable container. Got it. And that really is the best way to melt chocolate. Really? Now, I've got. Nah, don't worry about the double boiler. I tried that one. And these are chocolate treats with nuts and fruit, got just it. chocolate. Now, here's our challenge. Are you okay. ready? I'm so ready. So you take a spoon. Got it. And then what we're going to do, and you can pick it up and put it kind of oh. closer to our workspace. Okay, space. good, good. And then we just, you just pop it into, this of course is a mini muffin pan, and you get these little paper inserts. I just got them at a regular grocery store. You don't even have to go to a fancy kitchen store. Okay, I'm sorry, I asked you. Dark chocolate, right? You prefer it's better for you than the milk chocolate, correct? Well, it is better, but I think it just tastes really good with the fresh fruit. Okay. And so what we're going to do now is um, beautiful. show you how easy it is. So add a berry. Got it. 
And then we also berry. have some almonds. Raspberry. Okay. I mean, blackberry. Can you just see almond. doing this with the girls? With the girls, they would love it. They'd love to help me in the kitchen. And look at how absolutely beautiful and this looks. And we can kick it up with a little piece of mint. Oh, my god. Then what you do is, of course, after your Ooh. thing is okay. full, you put this in the refrigerator for 45 minutes, and it solidifies. And if you can see these that are finished, you could leave them in the little paper or... Carolyn. This you is can become a very fancy chef and just look at this at a beautiful Amazing. dinner party or treat, you know, for the kids. And uh, you know what I like as a dietitian? The perfect portion, the perfect flavors. You get people to eat a little bit of fruit. Yes, and not and overdo then, it. One more lesson oh, from well, Shaw. Thank you. Did you know when you're opening a bottle of champagne, and this is champagne from the Champagne region of yes. France. We don't want to go any other direction. Uh, oh my gosh, mm. you can't believe all the wine that I tasted. Um, I mean, Ray I'm Isle sure. from the Food & Wine magazine had a class on Australian wines. Here we go. I'm taking the basket off. And here's the secret. You hold the cork, and, and he was so great. Merlot. Whoop. That was it. My right here. Even... <laughs> here's the secret. You turn the bottle, not the cork. Turn the bottle, turn the bottle not, not the cork. cork. Excellent. So I learned that Merlot is making a comeback. Also at the Food & Wine Classic, I learned that rosé wow. is here all day. It sure is. And even tasted a rosé tequila. What? I mean, people... So now, that sounds good. Learn so much. And what again, about at the beach, the frosés? I know. Oh, we that have was a little so frosé. Well, listen, cheers to cheers. Jacques Pen, granddaughter Shori, of course, to us. And, and these easy and recipes. And these easy ideas, you always hit it out of the park, and we so appreciate it. Healthy but delicious. That's what she's all about. Uh, for more information on all of these great recipes, um, and Carolyn's happy travels. Oh, I live vicariously through her. It is the Happy Healthy Kitchen. Dot com. Cheers to you. Hold on. Cheers. I gotta have a sip. It's impolite. Ah, oh, that's good. I wonder if Wanda Sykes would like some. Let's save some for her. Okay, coming up, we're revealing the hottest streaming movies and shows that you're gonna want to binge on this summer. That is coming up. Cheers. This is so good. I so enjoyed it. Enjoy.